Hello and welcome to FourCornersTV.com. I'm Simone Bryant and this is The Local Roundup. Restrictions, restrictions, and more restrictions. Fire restrictions in Mesa Verde National Park take effect today. High temperatures and lack of moisture in the vegetation are the reasons why the restrictions have been made. No open fires or campground rings will be permitted. Fireworks are also banned. Smoking is permitted only within enclosed vehicles. The restrictions will remain in effect until fire dangers become less severe. Lack of moisture is also a problem for hemp farmers. Under the best conditions, an acre of industrial hemp could equal the paper production from two to four acres of trees. Unfortunately, test hemp plots were planted too late with not enough moisture in the ground. As a result of late planting, it will be hard to determine the true production value of the hemp test plots. Speaking of growing, these troublemakers are defying the law and making new homes in the Durango neighborhoods. Who are they? Deer. Deer are being spotted everywhere as they continue to make the town of Durango their home. They have taken up residency because of abundance of food and lack of predators. In other parts of the country, cities have just hired sharpshooters to reduce the population, but that requires city council approval. Residents have even tried such things as throwing rocks to get the deer to go away, but that has done nothing to discourage them from hanging around. As the deer stick around, the other critters are packing up. Pikas are related to rabbits and live at pretty high elevations in the Rocky Mountain areas. They are susceptible to heat and are declining in population due to climate change. Volunteers are needed to monitor the pika population. If you are interested, contact Emily Olson at Mountain Studies Institute at emily at mountainstudies.org. Speaking of the high country, the Tour de France is headed to the Pyrenees. With over 1,700 miles completed and 567 to go, the Tour de France picks up the pace. Today, stage 16 is the longest at 147.6 miles and heads into the Pyrenees with some lung busting climbs. But the first ever women's race in the Tour de France picks up a Durango local. Local Durango rider Carmen Small will be participating in the first ever La Course by Le Tour de France. The La Course is a 56 mile stage race finishing on the Champs Elysees just before the men finish their final stage of the Tour de France in Paris. And today on In the Neighborhood, SUPS. You can get a great workout and have a lot of fun at the same time. Find out more today on In the Neighborhood right here on FourCornersTV.com. Thank you for watching The Local Roundup. I'm Simone Bryant and we'll see you tomorrow.